Taking a look at Tesla shares slumping after a disappointing earnings call hinted at further price cuts and higher spending in the months ahead. Margins below expectations were the big concern, with operating income of $2.4 billion missing the street by a distance. CEO Elon Musk says Tesla will have to keep dropping prices if rates continue to rise. Let's get the overview of the wider auto industry with Jill Malandrino at the Nasdaq. Hey, Jill. Hey, how's it going? In April, the EPA announced new emission requirements aimed at having 67% of cars sold in the U.S. with zero tailpipe emissions by 2032. About a year and a half ago, the Biden administration said it wanted 50% to meet that mark by 2030. It's one thing to want an outcome under the proposal. The EPA estimates 50% of new vocational vehicles like buses and garbage trucks could um, be part of this program by 2032, along with 35% of new short-haul freight tractors and 25% of new long-haul freight tractors. So that's a pretty aggressive mandate, and there's a lot of work to do in the space. Indeed. So then, Jill, what are the other challenges associated with electric cars and truck manufacturing mandates? In incomplete charging infrastructure, what happens if you run out of fuel on the road? No one can bring you a spare battery pack. There's also cost availability and supply chain risks of raw materials. Car makers will need to uh, more minerals to build more batteries for more EVs. It's no secret that China has established a dominant position in battery manufacturing, but that commanding position extends down through the battery supply chain, whether in rare earths mined and processed at home or in sourcing additional raw materials from other countries. So then, Jill, what are the biggest issues to making mass adoption a reality? I know we keep talking about it, about whether what the tipping point will actually be. Well, it's interesting. Treehugger, a publication that analyzes sustainability solutions, points out that just over half of the cost, about 51 percent of an electric vehicle is in the powertrain. That includes battery, motors and their associated electronics. By contrast, a combustion engine in a conventional vehicle constitutes roughly 20 percent of the total vehicle cost. Now, innovations in battery chemistry are leading to EV cost declines, allowing EV makers to reduce the price of their vehicles in the United States as a larger high-speed charging network assures EV owners that they will be able to charge their vehicles on road trips. That will allow EV makers to face less pressure to build ever bigger batteries with an ever greater range as the efficiency of those batteries continue to increase while their price continues to decline. Batteries can be smaller in size but still provide the same range, lowering the overall cost of the car if we get that infrastructure in place in the U.S. 